Hello, my name is Invader Vim, and I'd like to thank you all for joining me as we have a look at what I've been working on uh, most recently. Um, this is a not a survival creation, uh, it's just something I've been having fun with. And what it is, is it's a, a vehicle that does a lot of different stuff. Um, I kind of just wanted to try to pack as much as I could into this thing. Um, and one of the things that I did to allow me to do that was have a kind of a central control panel. So I have 30 values that are stored throughout this thing to do various things. Whether it be on one of the things you can see the rear wheel steer, um, at a certain speed you can adjust that speed if they cut off. You see it's not steering anymore. Because um, it's at, at you know, higher speeds it's just too squirrely uh, to, try to try to steer with those, those rear wheels. Um, it's a good opportunity to to kind of show one of the things this thing does. Um, that has, that's a PID thing, we'll, we'll get into that. But So like I said, 30 values, and I can, I can cycle between them all uh, just from right here. Um, so you see we're going through, you know, in each one of these, acron these are acronyms that correspond to, you know, what the, what the value is, so what the value is. So this is rear suspension steering, or uh, strength, I apologize, rear suspension power, for suspension angle, you know, so uh, the blue value right here is the one that, uh, you know, will be saved. This is the value that is currently saved. So I'll reset this and I can set it to, uh, you know, say we want this to be a little bit taller. I go uh, make it 15, right? Go ahead and uh, save that and I uh, see it raise the, the rear suspension up a little bit higher. I can go ahead and lower that back down. Uh, but so you can adjust all the values from the center control console and it just makes it way easier for me at least. But uh, it has a few different modes. So if you, because it uses these RAM modules, which is pretty nifty, so you can cycle through the channel um, and have multiple values saved on it, you know, on each RAM module. So if I click this, we'll go between, you know, we have a crawl mode, sports mode. You see it changes the suspension and everything, changes the vehicle speed. Um, bunch of different settings are altered depending on that. And, uh, you know, for the crawl mode, for example, if you got something you want to climb over, you know, this kind of makes the suspension real soft. You can just you know, climb over, over rocks, stuff like that, no problem. And then you get over the rocks, you know, and you're like, oh, I want to go to uh, something a little bit quicker. We've got that support mode. And we got a wheelie control on here too. Um, you know, it kind of stops you from from uh, flipping over. Basically, it just uh, cuts the power. That's another one of the settings that's stored in there. But yeah, I've got a few different modes, and then kind of the final thing I added. Uh, saw a little bit earlier when I flipped myself, but I added this uh, PID controlled flight system. And so this, you know, to adjust the terrain. You know, if there's a hill, to go over the hill. But there's a flip you can switch to give it. Um, just pure altitude flight, so whatever you set it to based on the map, map altitude, it'll match. Um, but yeah, so you can just fly this thing around, get where you need to go. Just wanted to try to, like I said, pack as much stuff as I could in here and just make something silly. And cut, the, cut the flight power. Yeah, um, I hope you, hope you enjoy it. I guess we can have a look at kind of how this this works, you know, the, the whole, um, I guess, number, you know, control panel selection thing. You know, this is what you'll normally see when you have a bunch of values. You'll have a bunch of these uh, in the mod pack. I would recommend anybody try this mod pack. It's really cool. Um, there's Durf's original mod pack, and then there's the continuation. I've come to recently understand there's a good deal of drama going on in there, but um, they both seem to function about the same. You know, uh, you can pick whichever one you want to want to use, but uh, at any rate, you, you'll see this uh, you have these uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, counter blocks. There's so much going on here, I get lost sometimes. You've got these counter blocks, and you'll have one of these for each value, right? And the reason there's so many buttons is if you want to these up, you know, up it by ones, and then these up it by tens, right? And then if you want to you know, be able to control the ones in the ten spaces. You have to have two separate so two sets of buttons and able to in order to do that, right? And it just gets to be a lot. If you especially have, like I said, thirty values, you're going to have, you know, six buttons if you want hundreds as well. Six buttons per value. The display, all this stuff, right? You can you can see this thing getting pretty long. 
Now this this is what I have um, kind of an exploded view of what's in that vehicle. Red, the red value is what, what a RAM slot were selected. And so you can cycle through these and you can see it, you know, that that value here is, is the one that's stored on there. And then you can just pull these from the RAM slot for whatever you're using it for. You know, this is just to display whichever one's currently selected. Um, and then you can do this to cycle through those uh, uh, channels, right? So if I go to the next channel, it'll all go back. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20 stored on 0, 1, 2, and 3, right? And if I go back now and I go to the second channel, we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4 stored on, on now instead. So we can switch between those different channels, have different values. And what this also allows us to do is have, you know, the single input. So, you know, run um, uh, number uh, 0 over here, right? So I have 25 saved and, uh, oh, 15. We'll get to that. So I have 15 saved on this counter, right? And I can adjust it if I want it to be 115, you know, maybe about 25, 26, right? And I can go ahead and hit this button and save it, and it just updates that RAM slot, right? Or if I want to go to the next channel, you know, update that RAM slot, right? Now, let's say I don't want to use these buttons at all. I can flip this switch, and now we're using this this uh, input here, it's another thing from the mod pack is related. And these displays are from MGM uh, Legacy Mod Pack, which I would recommend just for these alone, honestly. There's a couple of cool thrusters like that I use here. But these panels, if you do this like this kind of stuff, it's just really useful. Uh, but so we got our input here, and I can just input a value. Say I want 55. Can hit enter, we got 55 saved. So that's kind of how I've set this thing up to be controlled, is you can adjust all those values very simply just from the cockpit, right? So you don't have to get out, you don't have to find, you know, which block you're trying to adjust and figure out which button you click and hope you didn't click the wrong one or accidentally reset a counter, because if you, you know, let's say you have a value stored on here and you actually hit it, oh, it's gone. You know, it's like now you got to figure out which one you accidentally hit, you know, what the value was, all this stuff is just, I've, I've I didn't enjoy, didn't enjoy that, I'm trying to figure that out. I'm trying to deal with that, I should say. You know, but this, I haven't had any of those problems. You know, it's just, it's all kind of contained and controlled right there. You can adjust everything. Um, but yeah, so that's my, that's my, you know, my vehicle here. I, I certainly, um, I'll pull up the, the wire tool here. I certainly went a little, a little too far in a few places. Um, you know, with the wiring, it's, uh, but you know, it all works. Uh, nothing, nothing's broken. Um, yeah, like I said, it's got a bunch of these weird little, you know, things you wouldn't really notice right away, like the wheelie control. Pick two, two eye up off the ground, it cuts the power. The rear wheel steering, the inner tire steering, so it actually, you know, reduce power to the inner wheels that, of the turn. So if I turn left, the wheels on the left will go slower, right, to make it actually turn quicker. Um, sorts of different stuff like that. I don't know if you saw my suspension dropping, but if you're a certain height above the ground for a certain amount of time, it'll uh, give you, it'll increase the height of the suspension until you hit the ground to give you a little more uh, clearance, you know. Um, and then this this flip functionality, I would have it on a switch up front, but I just have all the, you know, the controls to adjust everything. But this just turns on the pitch and the yaw, uh, sorry, not pitch and yaw, but pitch and roll. PIDs uh, just to you know, it just flips it over. It doesn't worry about altitude or anything. Um, but yeah, it, uh, another neat little thing is when you turn, it, it adjusts the, the the yaw control so it it's always it always takes off right where you right where you're pointing. It's something I don't know if anybody else has dealt with, but it'll just always point wherever the the orientation uh, block here is pointing. But I have this thing to help keep it center with the vehicle at zero, you could say. Um, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll stop yapping. Thank you all for joining me. I, I hope you enjoy this vehicle. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And um, yeah, I've got something else I've been working on. Uh, we'll, you know, I might might have a look at later. Uh, this uh, not that one. Yeah, this thing right here. So this this is another thing I was playing with the PID stuff. But uh just basically works like a Segway. Yeah, if anybody wants to 
learn how those uh, PID things work, I would I'd recommend messing around with them. You do a lot of really cool stuff with with them. A lot of interesting interesting things to be made. Anyways, um, thank you again for joining me. Uh, hope you all have a great day.